it is recorded in the annals of Clairvaux that in a conversation with French abbot and mystic St. Bernard of Clairvaux, our Lord Jesus Christ revealed his most painful, unrecorded wound as that of his shoulder and granted its devotees numerous graces. What is lesser known is that in the 19th century, in his great generosity, our Lord Jesus Christ gave church-approved mystic Marie-Julie Jaény, who bore the stigmata, nine more promises and graces for those who would honor the sacred wound of his shoulder. On March 29, 1878, in the French town of La Vraudée, our Lord showed Marie-Julie this gaping open wound and revealed its depth, saying, Oh, consider how I suffered this wound so deep and little known. I desire that the faithful come to rest their lips on my wound, that the breath of their hearts soften my wound. On May 17, 1878, our Lord said, The pain is incomprehensible in the hearts of my children. How this devotion pleases and console me. How often have the prayers of these wounds risen to my heart and have torn open the salvation of souls entrusted to hell. Here are the nine promises and graces our blessed Lord revealed to Marie-Julie Jaény for those who would honor his sacred wound on the shoulder. First, I will bless all the souls who propagate this devotion. I grant them abundant graces. Second, O oh souls who love me, who propagate this devotion, I take you under my protection. I keep you under the mantle of my affection. Third, I will dispel the darkness that will come to their heart. Fourth, I will console them in their pains. I will come in the midst of their greatest afflictions to enlighten, to comfort them. Fifth, I will come to bless them in their undertakings. Sixth, I will give them a tender love for the cross. I will come to assist them at the time of death with this cross, and I will introduce them into my heavenly kingdom. Seventh, I will sweeten their agony. I will come at the hour of death. I will console them in their passage. Especially at the hour of death, I will come to give them a sweet moment of calm and tranquility. I will tell them, O oh good holy soul, who has spread this devotion that I had so much at heart that it may be known, come to receive the reward of your labors, the fruit of blessing. Eighth, I will shelter them, I will assist them, I will console all the souls that seek to propagate this sacred wound. At the time of death, I will console the souls that have compensated me by their devotion and compassion to the wounds so deep and painful. I will come to strengthen them in their final fears. I will come and prepare their passage. Thank you, you who have compensated me for my pains. Ninth. See, Jesus said, pointing to his sacred wound with extreme tenderness, all my children who have recognized this wound, who have venerated it, have prayed to it, will have on the last day a great and generous reward. I do not simply show it, I pronounce it. My word is divine. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I, a miserable sinner, humbly venerate the painful wound inflicted on thy sacred shoulder by the heavy burden of the cross. I adore thee, O my suffering Savior. I praise and glorify thee with all my heart. I bless the infinite love which induced thee to submit to that torturing wound, beseeching thee, through its efficacy and through all the torments of thy passion, to have mercy on me, a sinner, to forgive my transgressions and strengthen me to follow the traces of thy cross until happily united to thee in a glorious eternity. Amen.
immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us.